how to use the HLOOKUP function here in Excel with a practical example. So this is what we're going to learn in today's video. I have here my data set that is a monthly sales report where I have all the sales that I just made with all the fruits that I have. So I have here a name of the fruits and I have also here in each one of the rows the quantity, the total, the January month, the value, the, the total sales in the January, February, March, April and so on. And I want to use the HLOOKUP function to help me to make some analysis here. So let's say I want to create here a new spreadsheet. Let me just click here. And this is going to be my analyze. So whenever I just type it in here, a name of a product, let's say apples, I want the return of the all the quantity sold and of course the total sold too. So I want the HLOOKUP function to help me with this question, with this task. And here, instead of checking manually, let's say the quantity sold for apples and the total sold in a month for apples, I can automatically do it using the HLOOKUP function. So instead of just check uh, the apples are here, for example, in this column here, column B, and it's sold in quantity, 4,000 units and $22,000, for example, I can do it manually. However, let's say here in my analysis, I just changed the item. So it's not apples anymore. Now it's uh, bananas, let's say. I need to do it all over again and again and again. So I need to find here what is the column of bananas. So it's here, see the quantity, the total, uh, and even I can just bring another results too. So like January, February, March, and so on. So instead of do it manually, I can just automatically do it. We're using the HLOOKUP function. And this is how the HLOOKUP function works here in Excel. The H stands for horizontal or even row and the lookup stands for lookup to search for to find something you need to find you know so let's say here i'm not looking for apples instead i'm looking for orange for example so the h lookup function is gonna works that way it's gonna use as reference the first row so this is why it's uh, horizontal okay because it's gonna find it's gonna search for in a horizontal way so it's gonna just take this first row as a criteria for example and whenever it's find orange let's say so orange is here it's gonna stick with this column so if it's find orange in the column i let's say the h lookup is gonna stick with this column so it can return for you now any row that is within the i column so it can return for you the quantity the total the January, February, March, and so on, so on, so on, okay? So whenever the age lookup function finds for you the result that we are looking for in the row, it's gonna stick with this result in this specific column, and then it can return for you as the result any value that's corresponded with your criteria. So let's make it uh, in a practical way. Let me go back here to my new sheet, and here, whenever I just type in here a product, an item, I want my function equal age lookup let me just double click it to select my lookup value here is my item and here is also a good idea instead of just typing manually in between quotations let's say bananas instead of do it because every time i just need to change the product i need to type it all over again so instead i can just select this cell right here so whenever i just change the a1 cell my h lookup function is going to automatically update for me so it's a good idea to make it more dynamic so Comma. And then my table array is going to be here in my monthly sales report. I'm going to select, let's say, all the first row that I have here. And of course, all the other rows that make up my data set. So I select here everything. And then we can take a look here in my formula bar. Press comma again. And what is my row index number? So here I want to type it in what is the position of the row that I'm going to bring as a result. So let's say I just type it in before bananas. So my age lookup find bananas here. So it's going to stick with this column. And what is my row number that I'm going to bring as the result? I want to bring my the quantity, the total, the January, the February, or which row that I want to bring as result. So in the first row that I have it there in my analysis sheet, I want to bring the quantity. So my quantity is my row number two because the range that we just selected before is my row number one, two, three, and four. So my first row here is going to be my number one. My second one is going to be row number two. The third one is going to be the row number three and so on. But it's depending on the range that you just select. If you select a range, the first row in your range is going to be your row number one. And the second one is going to be the number two and so on. So it depends. Depends on the range that you just select before. And here I want to type in the number two because the row that I want to bring back as the result is my row number two, is the quantity. Now, 
comma again and I want to uh, exactly match so let me just double click here close parentheses and then press enter and yeah here is the quantity of unity sold of bananas I don't know if it's correct uh, we can check it up so let's say bananas 8316 let's see here yeah it's correct look it's the same result and I can change it so instead of using bananas I can use let's say orange enter yeah, and it's automatically updated for me. So this is why it's good to use a lookup function here in Excel. Now we can move on and do here the total. However, instead of doing it all over again, manually just type it in equal sign H lookup function again, I can just make sure I double click here in this preview cell that I just did here the function. I can select everyone here inside, control C, and then within this cell down below here, double click it, I can control V. Now we just copy and paste the same function. However, the only thing that's going to change here is the row, is the row that we're going to bring back as the result. So let's take a look here in my monthly sales report. My quantity in the range that I just selected before is the row number two, but my total is the row number three. So instead of using two as the number of the row here, double click, I'm going to use three instead. So three and then enter. And yeah, now I got the correct result. And here I can just analyze all the items, all the fruits that I have before. So I can just type in another fruit here. Let's say kiwis, enter. And yeah, it's going to auto-update for me. I can also update here the test format. So here in the total, I can select it, click here in the home tab and put it in this accounting number format. Now it's correct. huh? And yeah, we're done. And of course, if you need to just insert here more criteria, more conditions, you can do it. You can be, bring back any value, any row, any column that you have here in your data set. You can insert it in your analyze. So it all depends on how large is your data set. If you have many rows, many columns, it depends. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I really hope you got how to use HLOOKUP here in Excel. And HLOOKUP function is pretty similar to the VLOOKUP function, however, the HLOOKUP is going to look up on in a horizontal way and the VLOOKUP is going to look up in a vertical way. So yeah, it's it for today and I see you tomorrow. As ever, day has a new video. I see you there.